Hello, everybody. It's actually been a minute since I've done this. I'm trying to remember where all my buttons are. Um, but I, <laughs> I, I want to talk to you guys about something. So Slap a Fish um, ended up with a temporary ban. And uh, as I'm going to be pulling up a couple of things real quick, and I'm looking around for buttons to press, and there's one of them. Two days ago, uh, Slap a Fish released a video saying, uh, you have been banned, which he was banned. And it's a temporary ban, it's not a permanent ban, uh, but I actually wanted to talk to you guys about this. So, I think it's dumb that Slap gets banned for a little bit of an incident. Actually, let's take a look at this, there's going to be no audio included or anything else. Uh, but the clip that was recorded um, right here, you know, this is one of the viewers that watches Slap right here. This is one of the people. It, right here, there's a lot of time for him to get out of the way. He pulls forward, he backs up. He is not really trying to get out of the way. He's having fun. Even if you were to go in and check out Slap's YouTube or even check out his Twitch, more than likely I'll be leaving it down in the description down below. Um, you'll be able to go in and you're going to notice he's not mad in the slightest. Okay. But in this situation, they decide to go ahead. He, he gets shot because now friendly fire is enabled against him because he he team killed. So now he's going to drive off in the water. They're having some fun on the stream, everything else. Now, all three of these players. So uh, Mill and Killer X, Slab of Fish Jr. And then the last one, which let's go ahead and come up right here, which is um, Vibe Dude all got hit with temporary bans. Now, the temporary bans, one of them was uh, until the 4th, which is today, and I believe his ban is over in six hours. Uh, slaps was lifted yesterday and everything else. Um, but the, the part that drives me crazy is that you can go through Slap a Fish's channel and you can find a lot of content on there of him killing a friend for instance dookie brown he loves to abuse dookie brown dear god slap i'm trying to find one freaking video and i have no idea where i can find any of them you have too many shorts and i don't know which one has you killing dookie but i've seen them before send me them so i can put them in my community tab but the thing is, is that that was between friends inside that match i don't find an issue with it some people may. Some people may stop and be like, oh, man, you ruined my match. You ruined this. I'll let me cover that here in a moment. But before that, I have one more thing. I actually have a couple of things to go over because I'm a little bit angry about this. Um, I told Slap I'd be doing a video on Friday. It is. Is it Friday? It's Saturday. It's 28 minutes in the Saturday. I technically am doing. I was supposed to do it Thursday. But here's the thing about it. This clip that was put up was actually recorded by Jack the Ripper. Okay. Now, Jack the Ripper is actually, um, when we go over to his account and he has his info, uh, <laughs> the name is Jack, and I'm an associate live ops producer uh, for World of Tanks, Modern Armor. So, right here, Modern Armor, which means he's updated this, but his uh, content is like four years old, everything else. He's got a YouTube channel, 4,500 subscribers, uh, barely ever uploads. Uh, if anything, it looks like bots by this point, and I doubt he would get more than like 200 views on a single video if he uploaded now. Now, I'm not trying to criticize him. I'm just saying that this is very suspicious that a developer for the game, one of the people that actually work in the game, uh, will come over and say this and then go out of his way to hit slap with a temporary ban and then hit every single other person that was associated inside this incident with the temporary ban, except for the one getting pushed in the water. But clearly, Vinny here never moved out of the way, yet he had every single opportunity to do so inside this encounter. Now, there was a couple of comments that popped up on Slap Fish's video with, um... A you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say the name. Kellen. 
was saying that Slap should get a permanent ban because he was platooning with more than three active players. Um, Kellen, if you say that, then I guess that every single person that plays on Xbox that uses the um, group posting should also receive a ban that me and every single one of my friends that have played this game should also get a ban that every single person associated inside of the clan should get a ban that every single person playing this game that has ever platooned should get a ban because guess what there's a lot of people to play together there are a lot of people that know each other and there has been a lot of instances where I've ended up in a match with seven people that I know on my team and guess what the first thing we do is we all jump inside of a party now there's going to be one thing that I want to go over that makes you sound like an absolute sorry for the uh, derogatory language about to be used hypocrite you ready because man I'm going to blow your mind in game chat platoon here let me change this real fast uh, enabled suddenly I'm now platooned with everyone that has this enabled oh my god was that so hard to realize, Kellen? Uh, sorry for, you know, being in complete and utter ass, but your comment made no sense. Because everyone is platooned together if they turn this on, enable it. Because now you have five people that are all talking together, all being coordinated together. This game is all about communication. Even on PC, you have a text chat that allows you to communicate with multiple people to have coordinated assaults, coordinated pushes, coordinated setups, everything that's done in coordination for the game. Okay? Is, is that hard to comprehend? Because it, it's not that hard to comprehend. This is a cooperative game. And some people may care about their stats a little bit too much. Personally, I don't. Um, just like damage standing. I don't care about damage standing. Uh, three mark to me has no value unless I witness a person actually grinding it out entirely. Uh, don't get me wrong. Some people have earned their three marks legitimately. But then there are other people that currently 12 o'clock at night, 1230 at night. Guess what they're doing? They're versing lobbies full of bots, and they're doing 8,000 damage inside of tier 8s. They're doing 11,000, 12,000, 14,000 damage inside of a tier 10 going against bots. Am I going to get a temporary ban for killing a player that's the only other player on the enemy team and then drowning myself in a lobby full of bots? Will I get a ban because I refuse to go against bots inside this game? I would rather kill myself than go against bots. Will I get a ban? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should get a ban for not wanting to inflate the damage standing, which everything's already through the roof on damage standing to begin with? Because the average damage standing for a tier 8 should be in the range of like 24 to 2600. But yet somehow we have tier 8s with over 4000 damage requirement. That's tier 9, tier 10 requirements. All right. Enough about that. Now, let's jump over to a different topic. Each time that I grab a tank, okay, for instance, let's say I, I hover over my 259A, uh, there's a couple things on this screen that are going to pop up that's going to be very, very familiar to all of you. Battle, loadout, ga game modes, hold on, hold on, game modes, game modes, let me look at this, B, okay, now let's get myself out of the way, uh, Cold War, all right, called co-op. All right, there's co-op. So that's uh, boring, casual, K, like casual gameplay that's um, brain dead in every single way. Because honestly, the new player experience in this game, I decided to make a new account and play a little bit. And I'll tell you now. It was dreadful. OK, like I there was no enjoyment to be had going against bots. And then just imagine you're brand new to the game and. You know what? Play the co-op mode and just watch how dumb the bots are. All right. You can have a bot sit in the corner and he's sitting there rotating his turret over here, rotating his turret over there. He's like, oh, squirrel, shiny, squirrel, shiny. And it that's all it is the entire time. By the way, T. Kane got fired. Uh, finally, the guy was a freaking it, <laughs> One of the worst community managers we've ever had. The only, he, he dissed on so many people. He played with some of those toxic people in the game. And 
you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pay some respect. You guys remember Mento? One day Mento mentioned uh, they got new merch up and everything else. And you wanna know what I did that day? Let me show you what I did that day. The P Victoria T-shirt and hoodies were available. Mento one day mentioned that there's new stuff available, and you know what I did? I enjoyed the company. I enjoyed the ideas that they had, all the stuff. And this was before update 6.0, and I bought merch, Le legitimate merch, because he was talking about it, showing it off. And guess what I did? I was like, oh yeah, I'll spend the money, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I'm trying to show off here. For instance, I see multiplayer, I see co-op, I see World War II, I see Cold War, I see training room, basic, advanced, I have actually never gone over these, I need to go over these, and then I see custom games. The closest thing that we have to a ranked setting inside this game is custom games with player organized events that are clan based with clans going against one each other. Now, whenever I select World War II multiplayer, Okay, some people are going to be playing this to their heart's content and trying to be the absolute best that they can possibly be. Then you have players like me where some days I hit 7,000 W and 8, other days I do 500 W and 8, other days I do an average of, I don't know, 3,500, and then other days to 2,200. You get the gist of it. Now, here's a question I have. Is this against the rules, even though it is completely possible for me to do this any day of the week, any single time I play a single match? I'm going to come right here. You see that I have an ELC even 90 with no ammo. Nothing, nothing equipped on this. It's fully kitted. It has uh, optics, it has a camouflage net, it has ventilation and enhanced target info, which honestly should be a permanent factor, but it's not a permanent factor. It's a game feature that was turned into a piece of equipment that you can now remove. It's a game feature, Wargaming, and that's what it is, okay? It's a feature. Anyways, enough of that. Am I going to get banned with a temporary ban because I made somebody else's experience in public casual matchmaking worse than any other time that they could have had it. Because guess what I couldn't do? I couldn't shoot the guy that was shooting at you, but I could I could certainly see him. He certainly couldn't see me. Am, am I going to get a temporary ban for doing this? It, I, whenever you look at it and you look at all the other content on Slap of Fish's channel and all the other controversial moments that you want to state what they are, my question is this. Was that the moment that Slap got the ban, the temporary ban, or not? Or was this because a single individual simply doesn't like Slap called Jack the Ripper? Okay, a little while ago, a video was brought to my attention that irritated the absolute crap out of me. And if I had the original video link, I would actually be showing it off on my channel right now. But you see, I don't want to pull up my conversation with Slap a Fish and show off this video. So you know what? I'm going to do something real simple. I'm just going to download it. And right there, you see it right here, because I see it right here, too. Now, I'm going to open it. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to include the audio of this, and I want all of you guys to listen to this, okay? Because to me, this is irritating, and I don't care. You might have to turn it up a tad bit. I know I do. Lots of fun. I'm going to be honest, I actually can't even finish watching that because of how angry it makes me. So <laughs> there's a couple of conversations that pops up um, in multiple aspects. I'm going to turn my music back on because I, I like my music. Uh, scratch that. It's it's connected to my phone. I got to switch over my computer because I'm a big brain like that. And I, I, I love to go over multiple things in so many ways. Now... 
there's this mindset inside there with people talking. Keep in mind, these are the employees. That was the old community manager talking about Slap That Way, calling him an attention whore, yada, yada. And at the very end of that video, they're all talking about like, you know, it's true, yada, yada, yada. And they're laughing about it, giggling about it. This is now behind the scenes. Imagine what they talk about behind the scenes. Imagine what they talk about Visha. Imagine what they talk about Petty 360, Eclipse, me, Slap, everybody else. You think they care? By this point, from what I've seen of what's going on and everything else, this is a focused assault of wargaming employees and everything else that's targeting. And it's it may be just a couple of them or maybe all of them. We don't know. OK, but clearly there is an issue among the peers inside there where the upper management, the upper echelon, whatever you want to call it, is kind of spreading this uh how to put it? What would actually be the word for this? If you can think of the word for this, please put it in the comments. I know it exists, but it's it's basically it's it, it it's become common, and it's not good. I'm avoided like the plague. I can send a message to a wargaming employee, and you wonder what's going to happen. Uh, it's been three days and still no reply. It's been four months and still no reply. It's been an entire year and still no reply. Okay, now, if you guys simply just talk to me, I'm not a bad person. I'm actually a really nice person. In all honesty, Hellcat's no longer a part of Wargaming. He made a hit. I actually had an entire 40-minute video set up of that thing with over 600 screenshots that I was going to go over in a single video. That was actually paid to have edited. And the next thing you know, he's no longer associated with Wargaming or an admin for their official Discord, which meant that all the work I put inside the video was now completely useless. I never uploaded it. I actually deleted it. I paid my editor and I said, thank you. Have a good day. And uh, just in case in the future I ever need this again, it's in the OneDrive and I'll be able to get my hands on it. So I'm not really worried about it. So that's that. Okay. So this instance, um, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it in the slightest. Uh, just like how I don't agree with Hell Divers trying to push um, PlayStation uh, for like mandatory account linking on Hell Divers 2 whenever you you be playing on Steam. It's like I bought the game on Steam and guess what I'm gonna do? Um, if I can't get a refund through Steam, I'm just gonna call my bank and get my money back that way. I'll be honest with my bank. I'll tell my bank straight up. It's like, well, coming at this date, I'm not gonna be allowed to play the game anymore. And it's like they don't want to refund me the money, so I'm just gonna take it back. I don't care. Now, is it, the community in Wargaming do better? Jack the Ripper, stop trying to paint targets and people back. Kellen, grow up and think of things in the proper way, okay? Because there's a lot of things out there that change, okay? If you care so much about your stats, then talk to Wargaming about trying to get ranked, if ranked was out, guess what? I would not condone any of that, and I would be completely against it. But you see, that's inside public matchmaking. That is in casual matchmaking. Casual, okay? You want to sit back and you want to say that this game is a competitive, realistic, constant, and then you have PvE included, and then you guys act like absolute mups on stream, showing off some of the worst gameplay ever. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm just saying that occasionally your guys suck on stream pretty bad but it's funny at times because i'm not sitting here being super judgmental about it i actually some streams i enjoy tanks ozarks dude you're actually a pretty cool guy not gonna lie i like your guitar in the background i want to see it more you actually made me want to go out and learn to play guitar because i watched that thing i'm like dude heavy metal yeah I i'm right now listening to heavy metal okay it, it's almost one in the morning for me. I'm actually really tired. Anyways, you guys, I understand that this is kind of just a rant going on, but I think it's just a dumb situation. The focus fire wasn't needed. <laughs> if anything, this now paints targets under the people's backs that don't need to be there. And you make a lot of people a bit more hesitant about uploading controversial content on the game, even though we live in the United States and we had the First Amendment, the right to free press, the right to expression. Guess what? If I live here and I'm talking to you in person and I point at you and you flip out about me pointing, guess what that's called? This is called an expression gesture, which means it's also defended under the First Amendment. Guess what? Between slapping all of his friends, nah, that's their thing. But me being able to talk and go over things, it's like if anything falls back on me, I'm sorry. It's not. Because... <laughs> 
I'm in the game. The most you could do to me is trademark me for using World of Tanks content inside my video without really showing off any gameplay. But this is in relation to World of Tanks. So being logged into the game makes sense. Anyways, you guys, this situation, I thought it was dumb. And it made me a little bit angry. Let me know your opinions down in the comments. Seriously. Does this irritate you that you can go through and see his MO across all of his shorts and everything else? I think I think Slap a Fish is a cool guy. And the thing is, I'm not going to sit here and say Slap a Fish is my friend. I'm sitting here. I'm not in his corner backing him because I'm his bodyguard. Someone said that the other um, a couple months ago about me and on World of Tanks. And I sat there. And I'm like, no, I'm no one's bodyguard. I am a friend. Sure. But I'm not a friend that's going to go out of my way to do his ton of stuff because I'm my own entity. I'm my own individual. I am not going to sit here and try to cover up on something else. I just think that at this moment in time, this was a dumb interaction. Really dumb. And it doesn't shine brightly on Wargaming at this point. If you guys want to condone this type of action, then it sounds to me like you have a lot of temporary bans to throw out. I may deserve one. Uh, Blade may deserve one. General Jim Bob may deserve one. Toto may deserve one. Every single player that plays this game who has ever made a mistake probably deserves one. Anyone who's having fun in the game probably deserves one. So... Sure, maybe I'm putting it out of context and some people are now watching this like, whoa, man, way too far. But the idea of this is that sometimes you do dumb things with your friends. Kids are kids. We have a lot of younger ones that play the game. I'll tell you now, I ran into a 12 year old about a month ago that surprised the crap out of me of what he could do in the game. And then he went to go and derp around ramming heavy tanks in a light tank because he thought it was fun. I didn't question him. I thought he was a cool kid. But... This is what you want to show off. Good job. Anyways, guys, till next time, more than likely, uh, by the time this video is uploaded, I might be doing a stream tomorrow. But this is just my take on what happened. And I am, you can tell, I'm a little bit upset about it. Anyways, till next time, I'm out of here.